There we go. It's a new season of Food Network's Halloween Baking Championship coming up. It's about to get fired up with a brand new batch of the country's best bakers battling out for a $25,000 prize. Among the contestants is a baker from Bothell who runs the super popular BB Nest Bakery. Say hello to Jessica Brockway. Hello. Jessica's here to show us uh, <laughs> why she should be the next Halloween Baking Champ, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I am confident. All right. Good. Good. So what are we going to make today? So today we are making Halloween cream puffs. Yeah. Well, we it's, it's a very okay. simple recipe. It's fun for mom, dad, kids. Easy peasy. Um, everyone I'll be loves your sous them. sous chef. I can, you know, whatever you need me to do. Absolutely. So the recipe really just consists of a couple different things. Things that everyone's going to have in their kitchen. All-purpose flour. Okay. A little bit of sugar and salt some unsalted butter at room temperature that's been cubed and just some regular filtered water. Easy. Yeah, oh, it's very easy. It's so the best ingredients ever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> very inexpensive and as you can see you can add multiple things to kind of create your own okay. design. So to make the pate au dough, which is the base of the cream right. puff, first you're just going to add some water. That's 1 cup of water to a medium pot here. Okay. And you're just going to throw everything it's in. A little, little hot there. Okay, yeah, sweet. you want to you want to make sure it's nice and warm. We want to bring it to a boil. So that's just sugar and salt that's going in yeah, there. Not much sugar and salt. No, nope, a teaspoon of sugar, okay. half a teaspoon of salt, right. very minimal. And then this is just a half a stick of room temperature okay. butter that has been cubed, so that way it evenly melts. You're very good at cubing butter. That was excellent. <laughs> I know how to use Perfectly a knife cute. pretty well. <laughs> yes. So we're just going to bring the temperature up here and All we right. want this to melt. So the only thing that I didn't throw into the pot was the all-purpose flour. Okay. So that's going to come after the butter right. and the sugar and salt have dissolved. Get it all together. Absolutely. So it's at Food Network shoot. Mm -hmm. I know they don't let you say too much. Right? They, <laughs> they want to keep it special for their yes. show. But what was it like? Do you, you remember it? It was probably the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever experienced in my life. I have a four-year-old, and it was more <laughs> terrifying than my no, four-year-old. No, come on. A toddler? Yes, a toddler. <laughs> I mean, it was getting on an airplane, right. flying out, and, you know, just completely by myself. Where were you? Where did you go? LA? I was in Los Angeles. Okay. Yes, oh, yes. I was in Los there. Angeles. It was an amazing studio. I met some great no, people. I mean, not as amazing as this studio, but I, I get it. Uh, no, this one's a little cozier. I like oh, it. Yeah, I like it. It's sure. a good vibe. We're Northwesty here, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So I met some great people, had a great time, and they're just memories I'm going to hang on to for the rest did, of my did life. Did you make some new friends? Absolutely. And you know what? We still all talk. Oh, that's cool. We have a chain message that we just go back and forth. Yeah. We share recipes with each other. We talk about, you know, what's going on in our lives. Right. So we've, we've, the Food Network's really built us a little family. Did you make any enemies? Because um, I know with reality <laughs> shows, they try to, you know, exactly. they, stir I, things up. It's really <laughs> strange. From the get-go, they right. had us in a little holding room, and, you know, they basically they didn't tell us each other our name, where right. we're from, so they kind of left that up to us to kind of mingle, yeah. and there was no bad blood. Oh, we just good. we just all hit it so off. So to speak, with Halloween treats. Yeah, right, huh? no, no pun intended. <laughs> yes. Um, right. So yeah, we just quickly became friends, and there was there was no bad blood. There was it That's was all very cool. friendly competition. Okay, so this has just about come yeah. to a boil. The butter is melting. We could just drink that. Some <laughs> sugar butter. Just some water. butter water. Yeah, it's good <laughs> for the fall. It'll warm you right up. Yeah, pilgrims love that stuff. They always eat that. <laughs> exactly. So the whole point of a pate au cream puff is that it's going to be building. Um, you want to basically remove all of the moisture from the dough okay. because it's going to create an air pocket on the inside. Oh. So the reason we want to bring this up to a boil is so any extra water, because there's water and butter, some of this, we want it to evaporate just a little bit. It'll help dry out the dough once we bake it. You called it a pate au? Pate au, pate -au. yes. Okay. Pate au dough is basically huh. just a, a twice cooked dough okay. consisting of eggs and butter, and it's actually found in a lot of common desserts. Um, the cream puffs here today, that's pate au dough. Churros hmm. are fried oh, pate au okay. dough. Um, what else? Like eclairs? Is that a French word? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Don't ask me the translation. No. <laughs> it means bottom of your shoe. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're just going to turn this real down low and we're just going to oh, okay. take the flour. the flour. Yeah, we're All just right. going to dump it right on in. Can so I do some stirring? Absolutely. Right. Get I in make there. Myself useful. Yeah, so stir it as quickly as possible, okay. holding the pot down. Oh, oh. oh. easy does it. Yep, there you go. just keep mixing and okay. it's going to come to a ball. Oh, so, wow. yes. Boy, that congealed quickly. It does. It congeals very quickly. Is that the right it's, word? Yes, right. because it is the high fat flour ratio. So, you're cooking oh, it. Oh, yeah. First. Okay. So, just keep mixing it. It kind of turns into some mashed wow, potato yeah, texture. To... You want to get all of the lumps out of there. 
I don't know if the handle's getting warm for you over there. No, no, no. I'm Perfect. a tough guy. <laughs> two older brothers, I can handle anything. Oh, great. So now that's, you actually that want to, right? yeah, you just okay. want to keep mixing I'll it keep though. Mixing. All right. Because you're once again you're cooking out more of that moisture, okay. so you're gonna kind of keep your head inside the pot and <laughs> not too close. Mm. I don't want you to burn your face before you're actually <laughs> able to eat the dessert. So you know it smells like butter. It smells like yeah, it smells like butter hot yeah. cereal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Smells great. It's the flour. So um, the raw cook, the raw flavor of the flour is just gonna be cooked right out, and you can kind of see in the pot there's a film developing at the bottom. So that's oh, the yeah. that's the flour okay. sticking it. to it, meaning the flour has been cooked. So still stirring, right? Nope, that actually looks great. Looks so okay. we can turn this off now. All right. Here we are. Okay, perfect. And we're gonna empty it right into that bowl. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, empty Terrible. it in the bowl. So, yeah. I thought I could spin it around. Go ahead and take that and empty it in the bowl. And we oh, really cool. want it to cool down to room temperature because right. we're gonna be adding eggs into this. Oh, okay. So yeah, just go ahead and take your spoon and kind of just smooth, right. yes, yeah, spread right. it out around the bowl so you get like a nice flat surface. Um, the more surface area you have, the quicker it's gonna cool down. There we are. How's that? So that's more? perfect, yeah. Thinner? No, that's great. I love it. It's gross. So, since we're putting eggs in it, generally you want it to cool for about five to ten minutes. That's what um, we have here. How about so that? So, a little bit of movie <laughs> magic here. So, once it cools down, it's going to get kind of like this film over the okay. top of it. You know you're ready to start adding the eggs. Okay. So, we will take the spoon and right. we'll just switch these two out. Now, it's very important to add the eggs one at a time. Okay. Oh, all right. Yes. So, you do that. Okay, I will show I don't you. Think I could do that. <laughs> so, we're just going to add it one at a time. Oh, yeah. That would have been trouble for exactly. me. Exactly. So for someone who is not quite used to baking, um, it's going to seem like the dough is beginning to curdle. It's falling apart. It doesn't yeah. look very delicious. But we're just going to keep on mixing. Have right. faith. It'll come back together. And Build then a little arm muscle along the way. Fast forward to yeah. the end here. We're running out of time. Yeah. So then you put all the eggs in there? Yeah. So we're going to end up putting all the eggs okay. in there. One at a time. Yeah, all one right. at a time. And once it comes to a nice smooth dough like okay. this, so you can mix it all together. Yeah, right? absolutely. You're gonna take a baking sheet just like this one, all right? And you're gonna want to. I like using this. Um, it's a macaron sheet, and uh -huh. you know it just helps you have evenly um, sized. So you're just gonna want to sure. pipe it right onto the circle, and you want to give your wrist a little flick. Oh. So that way it flattens because okay. if you end up piping it like this, right? And you pull it straight up. Ah, then you have it. Yeah, left. you're gonna have a peak, and it's like gonna a, burn. Like Dairy Queen. Exactly. Uh, we don't want that. So once again, you just squeeze, okay. give your wrist a little swirl, and to give your cream puffs a little texture, a little color, this uh -huh. is called a cracklin. And a cracklin is essentially a sugar cookie dough. It's just oh, okay. sugar, butter, and some food color. Yeah. I really wanted to amp up the Halloween um, aspect here, so I did some Frankenstein cream puffs, right. some bat cream puffs. Just with a little melting chocolate and some fondant can be found at sure. your um, at your cake store, um, craft store. So you cut the dough and you just want to put it right on top. I see why you call it a crackling because it does kind it of crackles it, it crackles a little bit. Over the top. Absolutely. So you can do it in any color you want, and even if you have that little there, oh, that yeah, you helps. can just take care of it. Yeah, that absolutely. Well, Jessica, we are out of time, but I, can I try one of these? Absolutely. See, Get I'm, in I'm there. going. I'm going to go Frankenstein. Let's go this one. And with cream puffs, you can film with whatever you like. Oh, wow. This so is you... just a sweetened Chantilly cream. Mm. And you can do ganache, oh, anything that, you like. A dough is light and fluffy. Exactly. What's it called again? It's called pâte à choux. Pâte à choux. Mm. Gesundheit. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jessica, thank you very much. Yes, my this pleasure. This is fantastic. <laughs> uh, we have the recipes for Jessica's Halloween cream puffs and cracklin' and pâte à choux dough <laughs> at cakepipe.com slash new day. Have a lot of fun. The new season of Halloween Baking Championship premieres Monday, September 23 at 9 o'clock on Food Network.